Uh, my brother called me up today and he was going to like an antique junk sales thing. Um, and I figured why not something to do. I did find something. Um, this. So it claims to be um, TV tennis. Now, what really drew me to it is that I don't know anything about it, and the guy selling it didn't know anything about it. I really want to know how it works. But for tennis, I assume... So these must operate some type of paddle, and I'm kind of picturing an old school Pong, where these must do an up and down, and at some point, something has to go across, is what I'm thinking. Um, but given that it looks all analog, it dings a lot. Um, there's some screws, there's some uh, Phillips screws here on the front, and I'm gonna open it up. Well, first I'm gonna put batteries in there and see if it works, and then after that, I'm going to open it up and go from there. Made in the USA. Mark's Toys. Step one, put batteries in it. Batteries are in. I'm guessing it's missing a cover, because I'm going to have to hold those in with my hand. And nothing. Okay, now it's time to figure out why it doesn't work. Look at that. Look at that. That is cool. It looks like there's some kind of counterweight. Oh my gosh, that's, okay. That is really cool. So I'm guessing that this, uh, this thing here with the spring, it looks like it goes back and it pivots and then it has a weight on the other end. And that is what probably is the ball. So, when you turn this knob, you see those teeth in the back? So, it, those teeth affect what I assume is the paddle here on the front. Yeah, exact same thing on the other side. So, you turn the knob and the paddle moves up and down. And somehow, this paddle is going to react with this counterweight with the spring on the outside. And what I assume, there's got to be a light or something in there. Here would be some kind of a dinger. That lets you know when a point is scored. Yeah. There we go. Kind of fear what's going on, but this, this right here is just so cool. It's just the whole analog world that lives inside of this thing is fascinating. So yeah, let's keep going. So right here, there's an electrical motor. There we go. Um, and this looks like an offset um, crank. Crankshaft? Yeah. So this would turn, and the, due to it being offset, it would cause this to go back and forth. And your goal, playing the game, is to get your paddle, oh, 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 your paddle, in the way of the spring and light. Because if, if, if this makes contact with the backboard, then the bell dings. So if that's not in the way, then it would hit here. Now I'm at a point where I need to figure out, okay, why does the light not come on and why does the motor not come on? Well, the light bulb is burnt out. So that's one place to start. Um, it came out really easily. Uh, it was just mounted on the end of this with this rubber bushing that went on there. There was, oops, there was one screw on the underside of this that kind of held things in place. So I took that screw out and then everything else just kind of, kind of, came right off the end. But yeah, so step one will be finding a replacement bulb. It's been a few days, but I was able to get some replacement light bulbs. I only need one, I think it's a, like a six pack. Uh, I checked a few local hardware stores and apparently no one carries old light bulbs, but found them online. So it's time to put one in there, put the batteries in there, turn it on and see what happens. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. The 
batteries really do not want to stay in there. Okay, we've, we've got a tiny little light. You see it? Yep. So, one electrical component figured out. Now I need to figure out why the motor in here isn't turning, so that's going to be next. We're making progress. It's also really, really dim. I thought it would be uh, quite a bit brighter, so it's going to have to pass through the plastic. All right, you got to see this. So I, I put the plastic on there, uh, just kind of laid it in place, because I wanted to see, uh, with how dim the bulb is, what the, the ball looks like, and it's actually really cool. So there we go. Okay. <laughs> we're getting we're making progress yeah i think the, the, how dim the bulb is must be very very intentional because it keeps the ball looking very circular if it were if it were a lot brighter i think it would blow out that dot also if you notice every time that uh, a score is made not only does it ding but it advances the score counter yeah okay so see that uh three watch this now it's a four. That way, uh, whoever was playing this game wouldn't be arguing about the score. Okay, well now it's time to dig into it and figure out why the motor's not going. That's the next, that's the next step. Well, this will show how it's going to work because this, this piece here, which connects to the motor, if I just move it around slightly, you'll see the ball start to go side to side. Boom. All right, we have the next step. Figure out why that's not working. Well, pretty sure the motor is done. I think there's a proper way to check these things, and I don't know what that is. Uh, well, I've got this little variable uh, voltage output thing, and I put it straight onto the motor, and nothing. It just sits there. Uh, so I guess I have to take the motor out. It is a bummer, because I would really prefer to be working with screws. So I'm going to drill the rivets out and see if I can take the motor out and then go from there. I don't know. Maybe you, you can get a replacement motor or something that will fit. The problem is it's so old. Okay, there we have it. Looks like a little worm gear and our motor. It came back to life. Oh, no it didn't. Hang on. It, it clicked on for a second. Let me kick it up to the next. Hey! Oh! Here's the problem. From what I understand with a direct current motor like this is there are two brushes and the one from the red wire is okay. It let me get here. So the one with the red wire brushes and makes contact here. Sorry about it being out of focus. Um, and then the other brush is, I believe, attached right in there at that dot of solder and then brushes against the outside housing here. But that wore out. I don't know what comes next. I think I've got a replacement motor. So here's the one that was in there, and here is the one I found. They are pretty much the same size. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, I just started looking around for stuff, and it came out of some, I think it's it's a coffee foam stirrer thing. Uh, it was just in the electronic junk drawer. But yeah, I just plugged it in uh, to the terminals from here, and it started spinning right away. Now... The next issues are going to be getting, well, two things. Mounted in there, because it is slightly smaller, 
and then somehow this worm gear may be welding. All right, progress, progress, good progress. And in, in trying to take this apart, uh, at one point I was prying on the underside and it popped off. So I think it was just pressure fit on there. Um, so it fits on here, it's a little loose. The worm gear is installed on the new motor uh, with super glue. I don't know. And I've got it kind of roughly sitting in the right spot. The wires are tucked into place. So let's put the batteries in there and see if this turns. So that'll be interesting if it... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's going. It is going off of just one. <laughs> okay, it's going off of just one battery. Um, let's take a look. Okay, okay, ready? Ready? Oh, hang on. Oh. Okay, it, look! Ah, that's so cool! Now that it works, um, I'm just gonna take some time to kind of glue everything into place. I gotta get this little guy back in place. That hole just kind of keeps that black uh, gear from wobbling around. It is all reassembled. Everything is pretty solid. I had kind of hot glue around the motor to make up that slightly smaller, let it roll in and harden around the motor. Uh, kept trying it along the way to make sure that everything was good. Put this little guy back in and it seems to be working great. I only burnt myself once, so that's always good. <laughs> but there it goes. I can't wait to get it installed and see the see the ball start, you know, bouncing around side to side. Got it most of the way put back together, at least the stuff necessary to make it move. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm gonna put a battery in there and it, it's time. I, I, I'm really excited. I honestly did not think when I got to the point where I was tearing everything apart that this was gonna actually work. I just thought it'd be kind of a dud. Oh! Keep putting it all back together. Okay, we are in the home stretch. I think everything is where it belongs. I don't have any extra pieces. I had to redo things multiple times, put them all back together. The orientation of some of the plastic bits. I had to reference pictures from when I started the project. Um, I think everything's where it belongs. So now the last piece. to do something about the fact that the batteries just keep falling out. So I had some spare plastic that I cut to fit the right size. I'm gonna pop that in there, it fits nice and snug. It is time. Again, I did not have high expectations when I saw what we were up against. I really thought this was done. I might, you know, learn something, but I really did not think that I would be putting it back together and that it might actually work. Oh, oh no. Oh. Uh, um. Well, it's always something. So there's a bushing on here. It's kind of like a rubber bushing and I didn't have that quite seated all the way. And so it was, it was catching on the inside here. Apparently it's, I mean, it rubs right up against it. And so there's not a lot of room for error. So I got the bushing seated a little bit further down, so now it should be good to go. But also, now you can see what it looks like on the inside. Let me shine a light in there so you can really see it. Very, very strange gizmo. All right, time to put the screen back on. We're done. I hope everyone enjoyed that as much as I did. I, I didn't know where I was gonna go with this when I started, but I oh, I enjoyed the heck out of this. Uh, but yeah, we'll let it, we'll let it play out here. Um, you'll notice the scores advance here and here, and then it does declare a winner when uh, I think it plays to 11. 
I'll just play the one side. I'll try to play both sides. There it went. It, it declared a winner. <laughs> but yeah, this is so cool. I cannot believe that uh, I was able to bring this thing back to life. Also, I looked it up online and it's from 1976, so it's almost 50 years old.